Mobile TV auf dem Craftbeer Fest in Wien. Äh, neben mir äh, Logan Plant, äh, ein Brauer aus England. Logan, uh, you're carrying a very, very well-known name, Plant. Uh, your father is the, the mastermind of Led Zeppelin, right? Uh, no, he's a horticulturalist. He, he, he's a gardener. <laughs> okay. Uh, but how does it come uh, th that you ended up in uh, the beer business? Uh, wh what, was your, what are your roots uh, brewing beer? Uh, I was born in the West Midlands, in the middle of England. Massive brewing heritage there. Uh, so by the time I got to my late teenage years, I would go down the pub right. uh, with my family and my friends. And um, I loved the local beer. It was very fresh. It was brewed very locally. And, and that was it. It was, it was the start of something that made me think about you know, getting into the industry and, and, and being a brewer. Okay, so now you're the, the, the founder and owner of Beavertown, uh, which is uh, distributed now in, in Austria by Amazon. Yes. Uh, how long are your business, is your business running right now? Uh, I started Beavertown about two and a half years ago. Right. Uh, we were brewing about 600 liters a batch, um, and we grew in our, we have a brew pub in East London called Duke's Brew and Q. American barbecue, uh, and then I just grew it from there and um, organically. Now we, we we produce about twenty to thirty thousand liters a week. Nice. Um, and tell us a little bit about the the, the core range of, of uh, Beavertown. What what are your your uh, core beers with Beavertown? Um, I guess our main core beers. Let me just get one. Hang on. We've recently gone into cans, so the Gamma Ray is uh, is uh, is one of our new our new 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 beers. Uh, as in, it's, it, it, there's the Gamma Ray, there's the Neck Oil, which is Session IPA, there's the Eight Ball, which right. is a Rye IPA, Black Betty, a Black IPA, and the Smog Rock is a Smoke Porter. Uh, but we, we've stuck them all in cans because cans, if you use it in hops, it's great. It protects the hops. It's, uh, yeah, stability and freshness is, is the key. So, uh, cans are rather unknown or not so popular here in, in continental Europe. So, uh, canning of your beers is a reason of quality, not, not for shipping or stuff like no, that? No, pure quality. Uh, hops, in general, don't like light and beer does not like oxygen. So, by sticking them in a can, you're minimizing light right. and oxygen contact. That's it. Which is great for our beer. So here, you're now here for uh, some days in, in Vienna. Uh, how do you like the, the Austrian uh, craft beer scene so far? Have you, ever ta have you already tasted some of the Austrian craft beers? I have actually, yeah. I went to a great bar last night uh, with, our, with our, the, the people we work with here at Amazon and they took us out and we drank some amazing local stuff. Um, and I think today this, this, this occasion is, is great. You know, you can see the passion and the, the fever that's going on here in, in, uh, in Vienna and Austria and it's, yeah. It's just a pleasure to be here, so yeah. So we hope to see you next time at the next Craft Beer Fest uh, as well. You and will. thank you very much, and we hope to hear a lot of uh, your beers, uh, which are distributed now by Amazon. Yes. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>